Hello, hockey fans. Chris Terrell here with Rotopros.com to bring you my Jaeger Bombs DFS NHL shots of the night for Tuesday, December 17th. We got a huge slate tonight. We got 11 games on the ice. We got a nice mix of games, six total, five and a half total, so we're good for goalies. A lot of value options out there as well. So as I always do, I'm going to go through each position and I'm going to bring you uh, a few of my core plays that I'm going to be using, and they're mostly based around cash games tonight. Um, that's what we play about 70-80% of our nightly buy-ins on Rotopro. That's what we coach our customers to do. So that's what I'm going to bring to you in this video um, and I'm hoping to do this on a daily basis, at least uh, the five days of the week on uh, the normal size slates. Uh, two game slates probably going to get rid of. So with that, let's just jump right in, uh, talk about some goalies that we're going to be looking at tonight. So at the top, we've got Tuka Rask, uh, most expensive goalie on DraftKings. A little bit of a discount from Vasilevsky when you, in terms of FanDuel if you're playing over there. Rask has been good all season. Uh, he hasn't been as great lately, 6-2-2 two two in his last 10 the 920 save percentage, 926 on the season, so just slightly below average lately. But it's a great matchup. Boston's been a lot better at home. Um, Rask has been better at home. He's been the only issue I see with him, and he has faced 33 and a half shots per game um, in eight, sorry, in 11 home starts. He's 8 0 oh, 3 at home with a 931 save percentage. So he alone has been a lot better, but overall he's faced a few less shots. So one thing to consider, but definitely um, a, a core play. In cash games, GPPs, he might come a little bit under on just because there is some other options that are a little bit cheaper. Um, so he definitely someone I'll be looking at in GPPs as well. LA doesn't tend to take a lot of shots, and that can be some of the issue with uh, some of the upside for him. Next, we'll talk about two goalies that have been uh, a little bit up and down. Vasilevsky, Vesna winner last year. Tampa Bay made it into the first round. They, you know, they got eliminated there. But Vasilevsky had a great season overall last year. He hasn't been, like I said, he's been up and down this season. A 909 save percentage on the season, 13, 9, and 1. But it's just too good of a spot here. The price has come down, especially on DraftKings at that 8,300 area. He's been up in that Tuka Rask area before. So we get a little bit of a discount here on Vasilevsky on DraftKings. Right now he's a minus 314 favorite. So huge favorite at home. He's facing Ottawa, who is playing on a back-to-back -back on the road and a third game in four nights. They, As we've learned here early in the season, we don't really want to target Ottawa when they're on home ice, but when they're on the road, we definitely want to be targeting them. So Vasilevsky just shoots up my charts tonight, um, especially considering, like I said, the back-to-back -back and third game in four nights. So um, he's right there at the top of my list on DraftKings tonight as my top goalie. And then the other one I will consider a value play, uh, also struggling a little bit early in the season this year, is Carey Price. Montreal's in a good spot. Um, they're on the road versus Vancouver. Vancouver struggled a little bit lately. So I I'm kind of overlooking that Montreal is a little bit of a underdog here. Um, Price has been facing over 30 shots per game. He has been a lot better lately um, coming into this one. I'm just going to bring him up here, his game logs. So in his last four starts, he's only allowed six goals against, only two or fewer in each of those games. So he has been a lot better lately. Only faced 20 shots in that uh, loss versus Detroit. Um, made 18 saves in that one, but uh, generally he's facing 30 shots. So if you do find a lineup construction on DraftKings where you just need that extra $500, that extra $700, um, to get to a top forward, top defenseman, I definitely would consider Carey Price um, in cash games, but I'm definitely going another direction. Um, but Price, in terms of GPP, I'm definitely going to have uh, Carey Price there because I have constructed some lineups early in the day here. And with Rask or Vasilevsky, they both look like very good lineups. So I'm going to be sticking with them in cash and a little bit of a pivot uh, to Carey Price in GPP because you can get your top stack in there at only 7,500 on DraftKings. So moving on to the center position, I'm going to start with two guys a little bit down from the top tier because, um, of course, we've got Jack Eichel and Austin Matthews at the top. Definitely looking at Eichel as a top play if you can afford him, but he's very expensive. He's been insane lately. So instead, I'm going to go down a tier, and I'm looking at uh, John Tavares and Patrice Bergeron, kind of in that mid-7K, low 8K range on FanDuel here. Um, if I had to pick between them, I'm going to take Bergeron just at that little bit of a discount. And he's got 11 points, 41 shots in his last 10 games. As you can see, he's got an elite 11.5 shots per 60, 19.8 Corsi 4 per 60, which is just your shot attempts per game. That's your shots on net, shots that miss the net, and shots that are blocked, which so is overall volume 
um, of a shooter. And then both are getting over 11 scoring chances, so they both got that upside there as well. And as you can see, they're both uh, right up there. That, you know, they, they're they not getting around a block per game, but they, they do block a lot of shots. They're defensive, defensive forward, so that does add a little bit of floor in the overall scheme of things. Tavares hasn't been as good overall on the season, but lately he has been very good for Toronto. He comes at a discount from Austin Matthews, who we talked about. He's got 11 points. Um, so almost identical 10-game logs um, as Patrice Bergeon. 11 points, 41 shots in his last 10 games. 17.7 Corsi 4 per 60, which is well above average. Um, so definitely like the shot volume there. I like the matchups for both. Toronto is a big favorite um, versus Buffalo. And Boston's a nice home favorite against LA there as well. If you need the savings, one player I am looking at tonight, I will go towards Boone Jenner. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't give us that shot volume. Um, that we would like, but it's more of an opportunity play at a low price here. He's under 5K on both sides. Best value comes on FanDuel at 4100 but what he does, um, he jumped up to the top line last night, so he's centering the top line. He's up there on the top power play unit, so it's an opportunity thing for me that kind of makes up for the lack of shot volume. He picked up an assist last night against Washington in a 3 nothing win, um, so there is that little bit of a concern back-to-back 3-4, -back and four. But it's a great matchup against Detroit. Great price and great opportunity. So the, he checks enough boxes um, where if you need the savings to really load up. If, if you're paying up for goalie and paying up for maybe uh, Tavares and Bergeron, you're able to get Jenner um, in your utility spot there. If not, if you just want to pay up for one of Tavares or Bergeron, pairing him with Jenner allows you to go up and pay up for defense, goalie, and even a winger there as well. Moving on to the winger position, I'm going to give you a few here. Pacioretty and March or so, I'm really targeting Vegas tonight. Um, we'll go back and look at their matchup here real quick. Um, they are one of the games with a six over under. They're projected for 3.8 goals, which is up there in the top of the slate. The offense overall is only ranked 19th, but we know Minnesota has struggled. They're 28th overall in defense. Um, same with on the road. And Vegas has been a lot better at home than they have been in the road offensively, so that definitely fits. And then both of these wingers give us shot volume. So you kind of got two different price tiers. If you, if you can't get both of them in your lineup, definitely consider one or the other, and that really comes down to what the rest of your lineup looks like. But for Pacioretty, he's been pretty much uh, on another planet lately. He's coming off back-to-back multi-point games. He's got goals in four straight, five total goals in that time, uh, 11 points in his last 10, 47 shots on goal. So that's he's second to only Alex Ovechkin in terms of shot attempts per 60 on the season at 24.3. So elite shot volume we get with Pacioretty. Uh, he's on the second line, but it's really a 1A, 1B situation in Vegas. He's on the top, I guess we could call it the top power play. It's 1A, 1B there as well because line one is power play one, line two is power play two for Vegas. And then if you want exposure to that first line that I was talking about, Jonathan March or so makes a lot of sense. At 6,600, you get a really nice discount there on DraftKings. So I'd probably lean him a little bit over Pacioretty on DraftKings. And it's really a dealer's choice when it comes to FanDuel here. He also gives us some shot volume um, that I like to see. 38 shots in his last 10, only eight points. So the upside may not be as good as Pacioretty, but um, definitely a high volume shooter. And then if you want to go a little bit cheaper, I'm going to be looking at Oliver Bjorkstrand. He was skating with Jenner on that top line. Um, but what really stands out there for Bjorkstrand is just the shot volume he's been providing lately at the price. So 46 shots his last 10 games, 5 points in that time. He gets a plus matchup versus Detroit. His best value is definitely on FanDuel at 4,800. But I'm considering him in all formats on DraftKings. And you can definitely pair him with Jenner. It's a little bit riskier for cash, but like I said, the, the matchup is there, the price is there, the shot volume is there for Bjorkstrand, so you can pair them together and you could really go and attack uh, a top two-man stack in cash games elsewhere while still paying up for a goalie and without having to punt both of your defensemen. So definitely like that. And then I'm going to turn to Montreal. Why this guy's price does not go up is beyond me. He's pretty much contributing almost the same as his teammate Brendan Gallagher in terms of shot volume. Um, even with the upside, but Gallagher's price has got near, I believe Gallagher is a top five price. Yeah, he's third on DraftKings tonight um, at 7,500, while Army is down here at 5K on DraftKings, 4,700 on FanDuel. Again, he's not going to give us elite upside, either is Gallagher really. You know, they're, they're under a point per game players. Uh, Army has six points in his last 10 games, but 48 shots on goal. 
and 10 blocks. So that's an average of 5.8 shots and blocks per game for a winger that's in the 5K range, under 5K on FanDuel. I'll take it all day in cash games. Not an ideal matchup versus Vancouver on the road here. Like I said, they're plus 106 underdogs going on the road, but I think they still get two or three goals tonight. I still think Army gets there with even just his shot volume on DraftKings. Any night, him and Gallagher are candidates for that uh, five-plus shots bonus. And then Alex Tuck, if you want to go even lower, um, back to Vegas here. He plays on the power play with, on the I believe it's on the top power play, uh, eight points, 31 shots his last 10 games. He's just super cheap, plus matchup. Definitely consider him as well. And then moving over to defense, the value of Victor Hedman right now, he has been, okay, str- when I say struggling, he's been struggling um, with, you know, compared to his, I guess, his mean. Um, he, he's an elite defenseman, in my opinion. He's only got eight points, 29 shots, 10 blocks his last 10 games, which is a little lower for him. Still 11.9 DraftKings points per game, but that's a little bit lower than what we expect from him. Um, but what I do like the most here, what draws my attention is the lower price. He's back down in the 5400 5, on DraftKings. 6300 a little more expensive on FanDuel. Both prices are still lower than we've seen him earlier in the season when he's putting up his big numbers. Plus, he gets that plus matchup against Ottawa, who's on a back-to-back third and four. So Victor Hedman's definitely my top. Um, if you're paying up tonight, he's definitely my top guy. I don't think we need to pay up to the top. We get a guy who should be in that top tier of pricing for a little bit cheaper. The production um, upside floor is right there along with the guys that are more expensive. He's number one. Then we'll be looking at uh, Ben Sherratt for Montreal. You can go Weber as well if you want to pay up, but I like Sherratt in this uh, mid-4K range. He has provided excellent value in terms of cash games. He's only got one point in his last 10. He's not going to win you a GPP, 11 points on the season, but the high floor, 31 shots. 25 blocks in his last 10 games, uh, average of 10.9 DraftKings points per game is just insane. Um, he's playing well above his head, and he's not even getting points to add to those totals. It's all blocks and, and shots. Um, that's really what I look for for cash, when I'm look, especially when I'm looking for value guys, and he's my number one value guy tonight. And then very close, not far behind, kind of a 1A, 1B situation in terms of my points per dollar values tonight is David Savard. Um, he got there with an assist last night. Um, it, it was a it was a minor night, but we're really again same as Sherratt. We're not looking for a lot. He's only got five points on the season, so that was only his fifth point last night. But what he does give us is that high floor again. He's got 14 shots, 21 blocks in his last 10 games, and he's down there in punt range near minimum price on both sides. Helps you get um, pay up. So a route that you can definitely go if you want to go with two two man stacks at forward plus a pay up goalie is pairing Sherratt and Savard together as your two defensemen tonight. And that's probably where I'm headed. Um, If you've got that extra salary, I love paying up for Hedman in that elite matchup as well. So that covers my core plays, uh, the shots of the night. If you have any questions, players I mentioned, players I didn't mention, definitely hit me up um, in the Rotopros chat room. If you're not a member yet, make sure to get over to rotopros.com. Sign up today, get your free trial, come in, check out what we're all about. Uh, pretty sure you're going to stick around. You can also reach out to me on Twitter at Jaeger underscore bombs nine. And also in the chat, I will be releasing the cheat sheet here with all of the rest of my plays, GPP, core, and value plays. Thanks for checking out the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow for Jaeger Bomb Shots of the Night. Have a great night, everyone.